see they always tell on themselves when they trolling and then when they post or speak in, in on their own channels so there's a troll that keeps saying i'm lonely right you see how she says that in her post right here but when she was over there supporting me i ain't heard her say anything about me being lonely for the last uh few months that she's been back in my channel in my chat but anyway neither here nor there she decides to speak on well she calling me all kinds of crazy which i am not crazy if i was crazy honey hunty if i was crazy i would not be able to work and i work a full-time job if i was crazy i would be getting a crazy check and i don't get a crazy check okay so i ain't crazy ain't shit crazy about me i suffer anxiety disorder and that's not crazy okay so i'm gonna need you to you know go back to your cna school wherever you wherever you uh went to cna school and um learn what crazy mean okay um because that ain't this ain't that okay ain't nothing crazy about me okay and if i'm crazy and i'm as successful as i am in life at the age of 45 then maybe you need to uh look into becoming crazy honey because my crazy ass own multiple homes on multiple vehicles own uh multiple property um shall i continue with my crazy ass i have a leadership role at my job i work for a fortune 500 company i have stocks and um all kinds of stuff i have an ira things that you probably never heard of i got a 401k you probably i don't i don't think cnas get all that but you know i'm crazy I'm, I'm not going to even sit here and, and continue with that because we all know that I am not crazy. Yes, I do suffer anxiety disorder and I do take medication for it, but it's not severe to where I can't function, honey, because I can. Okay. And I do. Okay. Now, like I said, trolls say the same thing on their own account because they can't help themselves. The things that you've been saying about me behind the scenes is the same things that you're saying now when you're mad, okay? Now, several months ago, we did a challenge with you and Faith or whatever about this lingerie thing. Neither one of y'all wasn't going to come out here and post up in no lingerie because you can't because you look a hot mess, okay? And you want to sit up here and try to say I look like a tree? Girl, bye. Everybody that looked at that picture screenshot it and got it in their phone. Say I lie. You probably got it in yours, too. We all know how you like to look at thick women. Say I lie. When I doxed Sakina's daughter, you ran your trifling ass and found her OnlyFans page. Not only did you find her page, girl, you and your daughter, your daughter bought a membership. And then for a few days, you sat here and contemplating on if you was going to post what's inside of that girl's daughter's OnlyFans page to your YouTube channel. And you say your husband talked you out of it. So you a whole fucking perv, bitch. You was looking at this woman's child on her OnlyFans page. Your, you and your daughter paid to see this woman do whatever it was she was doing. Because only y'all knew because y'all the only ones had the, had the, uh, the site or the, the page and paid for it. Now, say I lie. Say I lie because that's how Huggy reached out to me to ask me, could I get the link for you from you? Remember? Because you was out here talking about you was going to expose it. You nasty trick. And you want to talk about a shower or a tub or something? Ain't you the same bitch that was pregnant with your husband's babies? But in the shower playing with your ussy? While uh, talking to a nigga off of YouTube? Ain't you that bitch? See, I don't have that kind of record, honey. I don't have that kind of uh shit going on over here. Okay? That part. And when I said I model, I said I had a company that um reached out to me and wanted me to do some lingerie modeling. That was months ago. 
I posted it in the members area. You was a member at some point. I'm pretty sure you saw it. I've been doing it. They've been sending me free lingerie to do modeling and do pictures and stuff for. I just didn't come out here and share it with none of y'all. Want to know why? Because of people like you. Because, see, when that girl um, came on the panel and talked about her little OnlyFans or whatever, whatever, you ran your ass and got your daughter and all that stuff. And y'all found her. And y'all subscribed to it. And try to exploit it. So I don't I don't need that kind of shit. Because I get paid from the company. I don't get paid from the people that watch it. Or look at it. The lingerie pictures. I don't get paid from the people that look at it. I get paid directly from the company that sent me the fucking lingerie. So I don't need anybody from YouTube to go over there and help build anything for me. You get what I'm saying? I don't need nobody to go over and look at it. Because they get their views it's on a on a um store it's on their store so they get their views i don't need anything from any of y'all i was just letting y'all know hey i actually had well actually there's two companies two lingerie companies are paying me to model their lingerie that part is you mad girl now we can open the lingerie challenge back up for you and old flabby over there we already know you ain't gonna participate, bitch. You won't even come up to address me and ask me the questions that you have for me. You are that um, ashamed of your looks or your at home situation. You can't come up and show your house. You can't, you supposed to be the queen of the castle, bitch. You can't walk through your house and show that motherfucker. I can tell you why. I can tell you why, bitch. I heard your house was nasty. I want to see you debunk that. I heard your house was disgusting. I want to see you debunk that. And like other people said, if it was not somebody, and like I said, if it wasn't somebody from YouTube, it was somebody that you know in real life. It could have been them kids school or one of your neighbors that called on your motherfucking ass. If it wasn't that big, fat, funky, big sis of yours. I said it. Who gonna motherfucking check me? I know it won't be you and it won't be her that motherfucking part so you want to talk about my picture honey that i know you got in your phone and they got in their phone and everybody on this motherfucker got a screenshot of that motherfucker say i lie well <laughs> i ain't seen you post a motherfucking thing and you're gonna say i'm not gonna post nothing like that because i'm married but was you married when you was planting your pussy in the shower while pregnant with that man babies i'm just asking for the community occur that motherfucking part find you something to do lady i thought you said you weren't gonna go back and forth with me but it looks like you want to go back and forth with me it looks like you want to you gonna lose you gonna lose girl you gonna lose because you don't you can't debunk anything i've said about you want to know why because your house is nasty you do live with a bunch of people. That's why you can't ever go live for over an hour. Let alone 30 minutes. Not it's it's done went down to one minute. You doing one minute lives now? <laughs> you pathetic. You are pathetic. You can't show no titles or no D's or nothing in your name. Cause ain't shit in your name. You don't own shit. You getting Medicaid and food stamps and every other thing that you can get from the government. And I, I'm not knocking that shit. I really ain't. We're not in the same tax bracket, ma'am. You say you're a stay-at-home CNA. We ain't even in the same tax bracket. There's no point of me wasting my energy responding to you anymore, especially your big, fat-ass friend. There's no point of me even wasting my time and energy. But I will say this to you, Vani, with a V. When your friend go and get bunny with a B, can you record that so we can all hear it? I, I would love to hear how she explained her way out of that and how, how you believed her. What did you what did she say? And how you what did you believe and why did you believe it? Cause you bought the goofiest and I said you was gonna run back. Didn't I say it? I called that shit the same day. I said one of one out of the three gonna run back. <laughs> and I knew it would be you.